The information provided on LifeInterruptedRadio.com is for educational purposes only. Welcome back, everyone, to the Autoimmune Hour on Life Interrupted Radio. I'm your host, Sharon Saylor from SharonSaylor.com. And tonight we're here with Liberty Forrest, the internationally known psychic and medium and award-winning author of The Power and Simplicity of Self-Healing. And we've been talking about what I'll call beliefs and how they strangely manifest in our body, how our language can change how we feel very quickly. And there's all sorts of other fascinating ideas about how we talk to our body, how we think about our body, how we feel about our body, creates a lot of things happening in our body. So welcome back, Liberty. I was just fascinated by this idea of the multiple personalities and how if one of them has a scar, it doesn't necessarily mean another or all the other personalities have a scar. That is shocking surprising to me that that at that level because i've been a firm believer that a lot of work that i personal work self-compassion work i did self-love work uh, meditation and uh, stress reduction a lot of things i did that way that i would say were more of starting in the mind first and then working into the body were powerful but i had no idea that the mind was that powerful my gosh. It really is, yeah. Wow. So what are a couple of tips? Um, let's talk a little bit about some of the tips that we could use in this segment. As we're saying, Liberty, this sounds really good, but also sounds like, where do I start? I mean, how do I know what beliefs are? One of the tips you had was listen to our language. But where, where would you suggest somebody just begins to start with this, to, to explore it? I think it's really important to look at where you're suffering first in your life, whatever that means to you. Where is the suffering? Is it in relationships? Is it your physical health? Is it both? Is it job? Is it how you feel about yourself? And when you can sort of start to look at that, look for a theme and or see if you can trace it back to a root, a root feeling. Um, <clears throat> because sometimes, <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes you can kind of see a common thread, you know, where it might all start with a lack of self-love, or it might all start with uh, a need for approval or something. You might start to see a thread when you look at where the places are that you're, you're not feeling right in your world. And I have you a quick do... question, Liberty, on that, though. I want to circle <clears throat> it back about on something just for clarification, because I've had friends and... <laughs> Well, I like to call it same man, different body syndrome. But they never, look, they, they never look within themselves for that common thread. It's like out there. So let's talk about, you're talking about we look within ourselves for this common yes. thread, not yeah. that out, <clears throat> Excuse me. out no. there common thread. No, that's exactly right. Thank you for okay. pointing that out. <laughs> that's kind of what I meant, though. <clears throat> Excuse me, pardon me, uh, this pond full of frogs in my throat today. Um, yeah, it's about looking at what, where is the problem. You know, it's going to originate somewhere inside inside us and what we believe about ourselves or the world or our place in it. And uh, that's where you can sort of begin to see like, what's really going on. And it doesn't, it's not always, it's not always that difficult because really we're, we're, we're not that complicated. If we really look, we're, you know, we, we, we can make things complicated, but that's not the same as actually being complicated. You know, we're pretty simple in terms of our basic beliefs and how it manifests. If you don't believe you love yourself, that's going to manifest in every aspect of your life, for example, right? If you, if you think you're, if you're filled with self-loathing, you're going to attract people who validate that and you're going to be in jobs that you hate. You'll put yourself in circumstances where nothing feels good because that's what you think you deserve. You know, it's funny that you bring that up because if you're having a hard time finding it, this happened years ago to me that I had this epiphany where I was saying to a girlfriend, she was, I was show, showing off the latest bow, you know, like here's my latest. And he excuses himself, I think, to the restroom at the restaurant or something like that. And she leans across the table and says, what are you thinking? And I launched into, well, you just don't understand. And at that moment, I had this epiphany of like every time I had said to someone trusted and beloved in my life that said, what are you thinking? <laughs> and I launched into that phrase, you don't understand. 
I was the one not understanding for whatever reason. I was playing out some old pattern. Yep, I totally get that. I don't even want to talk about how many times I've been divorced. <laughs> <laughs> or said, you just to your <laughs> relationship best friend. <laughs> that, you know, that went awry, right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and I kept, I kept finding, as you put it, what did you say? Same man, different suit or something? Same man, different body. <laughs> different body, yeah. Uh, exactly. That's, that's, I kept, they, they all look different on the outside. The stuff came in a different package, the, the things they were presenting. And I, I, I needed to, I needed to love and appreciate and respect myself um, before I was ever going to find anything healthier and mm -hmm. finally, finally figured that one out. But yeah, it, it starts in here. And just like you, people would be like, um, you too. <laughs> I'd be like, but you don't understand him, blah, blah, blah. Right. But you're right. I didn't understand myself. Well, that was key for me because I guess I sort of knew that, but I was having trouble finding it. And then I stopped and said, okay, the world is showing it to you. Your friends are telling you, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Stop and believe what they're saying. Stop arguing with them. Yeah. <laughs> and once I did, I started listening to them and thanking them with a lot of gratitude. Thank you for, for sharing with me. It became easier for me to see my own patterns. But for a long time, I couldn't see my patterns. Well, and just like you said about um, we don't see uh, what's going on in ourselves, like in, in that or in the relationship in that sense, it's the same with the body. We don't always understand what it's trying to say to us when it's giving us symptoms that don't feel good. Same oh. thing, kind of ignoring, yeah, 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 whatever, you, you quit hurting, go away, leave me alone. Just <laughs> doesn't work like that. <laughs> The information provided on LifeInterruptedRadio.com is for educational purposes only. What you hear, read, and see on Life Interrupted Radio is based on experience only. The information presented here should never be used for any legal, diagnostic, or treatment purposes. Always seek sound legal, medical, and or professional advice regarding any problems, conditions, and any of the recommendations you see, hear, or read here on Life Interrupted Radio. You've been listening to Life Interrupted Radio. To learn more, listen to other shows, and gain free resources that can help empower your life, be sure to stop by lifeinterruptedradio.com.